Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm gonna be creating a registration with Nest.js and Passport. First things first, I'm gonna create our project with Nest CLI. I'm gonna call it Alf YouTube. Uh, we'll wait here a few seconds. I'm gonna be using R, and there it is. Okay, uh, now we're gonna be generating our module, user module. Uh, nice gen module. It's the command we use and our service. So nice g service users. Uh, now we're gonna export our user service so we can inject in other other modules and other services. So let's export it here. <coughs> uh, now in our user service we're gonna create uh, some functions the function that will validate our user and a mocket database with our user interface so let's see here uh, we're gonna create our interface called user there it is uh, and then we're gonna call it as an user array with those uh, those information there we're gonna have our find by email function and it's gonna receive an email and we're gonna be looking if the email is equals to the user email in our market database so now we're gonna generate our auth module uh, and auth service same thing as we did in the users uh, we're gonna create our constructor and we're gonna inject our user service here in the of service. Uh, now we're gonna create a function, a, an async function that's called validate user. We're gonna receive email and password. We're gonna call our find by email uh, function that was in the user service. We're gonna have to put in a wait there then we're gonna do a little checking if the user is exists and if the user password is equals to the password that was provided in the method parameter uh, then we're gonna uh, hide the password so it won't be returned after the user is validated if the user is validated else he's gonna return null so that's it uh, in the elf module we're gonna import our user module obviously and export the off service then we're gonna create some strategies here it's gonna be the local off strategy uh, have a jump there and a little cut and we're gonna add our dependencies this will be in the description uh, and the types so now we're gonna have our nest passport that came from nest.js passport uh, in our passport local strategy so we're gonna create a injectable function here, an injectable class uh, it's called local strategy it's gonna be extending the passport strategy like this and that's the username field there the constructor we can pass a super with the configurations the settings there and we're gonna be using the email as the username field so we're gonna provide the email and password when we'll log in so now we're gonna create another method here that's called validate and it's gonna be validating the user if the user is validated from our off service function uh, if not it's gonna throw an unauthorized exception else it's gonna return the user so that's basically it and now we're gonna be creating our uh, sorry we're gonna be providing here the local strategy and importing our passport module in the import section here near the users module uh, after that we're gonna create our guard I'm gonna create a folder here called guards and then create a local of guard local of guard will be a injectable class that is gonna be called local of guard and we're gonna pass 
we're gonna extend our guard uh, and and call and call the, the the string there uh, we're gonna put the name of the strategy there so we're gonna be doing this soon in the video just gonna import here from our nest js passport yes i think that's it no it's the common yeah that's true we're gonna call the injectable first and then we're gonna be calling the passport uh, so we're gonna import the injectable after that, we're gonna be calling the off guard and inside here, it's gonna pass a string called local, the value local. Uh, so that's basically it, the local off guard here. Uh, now we're going to have our routes, the logging route and the protected route that's gonna be, that's the protected route. Uh, we're gonna be testing it uh, sooner in another video so right now we're gonna be creating only the logging route uh, with a function called local or logging sorry and that the that, that logging function is gonna be called uh, returning the hack user that's the the user that made the request the user that we, pa we passed there in the body so and the, the guard will, will take care of the rest so now uh just the request is a function sorry i have to pass it like this we're gonna create our our request here in postman uh so you notice there that we use email not username because we passed that configuration there in the strategy so email and password uh i forgot to to run the service there in the, the application just put the yarn start dev and wait for it to compile so there it is compiled successfully and we're gonna send the request there you see it returned the, the user the id the name and the email and now if we change the password for to one two three four five which is for five it's gonna pass an out unauthorized there so that's basically it uh just so thank you guys for watching subscribe there to the channel and hit the like button and we will see each other soon because i'm gonna be posting some videos there and the the continuation for this one we're gonna be implementing jwt and tokens and we're gonna be securing a lot of routes there so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that we managed to learn a lot together so thank you